This is Tim Daniels. Again, we are just uh, just so grateful to Almighty God for allowing us to spend this time together that we call Moment with the Master. We've been talking about this table that I'm standing before right now in front of, and it's the Lord's table. It's called the Last Supper because it is the last meal that Jesus took with his disciples before he was arrested and he was uh, hung on that old rugged cross. I like to call it a love table because this table is really all about love. And as we are in the love month, the month, the month of February, and, 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 and love is in the air, particularly uh, romantic love is in the air. And I think as we think of that type of love, it helps us to understand how Jesus loved us and loved his disciples. And he exemplified that on that night that he took the Lord's Supper with him. And it helps us to understand how even a romantic type of love can be one that represents who God is. You know, in the world, love, romantic love, kind of follows these steps. What people do, they first of all, they find the right person. I've got to find the right person. They've got to look the part, um, dress the part perhaps. I want somebody who's kind and, and who, who's, who, who speaks to me in a respectful way. I want to find the right person. Perhaps with some people they need to have a certain amount of income, but I've got to find the right person. And then number two, now I can fall in love. I found the right person. Now I can allow myself to fall in love. And then thirdly, what happens sometimes after that, now I can focus on that person to make me happy because I found the right person and I've fallen in love. And I can focus on that person to make me happy. But then because people are human, we fight. And then there's fighting and disagreements. And then there is frustration. And after the fighting and the frustration goes on so long, then what happens is a lot of people say, forget about that person, and I'm going to start all over again with somebody new. But God's way is a little different. Instead of finding the right person, God has called us to be the right person. Be what you are looking for. Be a kind, loving person. Be a person of integrity, a person of compassion, a person of commitment. Instead of trying to find the right person, be the right person. And number two, instead of falling in love, walk in love. Instead of falling in love, walk in love. The Apostle Paul said in Ephesians chapter five and verse two, he told that church, I want you to walk in the way of love. You see, falling in love is about emotion. Walking in love is about devotion. Devotion to God and being committed to the person that God has put in your life. And so after you walk in love, instead of then instead of focusing on a person to make you happy, focus on God. Because a, per a person, a human being, can make you happy, but only God can give you joy. If you depend on a person, a human being, to make you happy, that is too heavy of a load to put on anybody. No person can make you happy all the time. Happiness is not something you get from other, person, other people. It is something you bring into the relationship. Because if people are the ones who give it to you, if they walk away from you, they can take the joy and the happiness with you. And so after you focus on God to make you happy and fulfilled, then if there are differences and, and disagreements, instead of fighting, forgive. Forgive. And then lastly, walk in faith. See, God's method gives a whole lot more peace and satisfaction than the way the world does it. And you find it all at this table. Thank you very much for your time.